everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. I wanted to share with you really quick while Gwendolyn is taking a nap about something that happened midweek this week. Justin got stung by this scorpion. <laughs> we um, actually have quite a few scorpions around our house. Now, we don't have as many scorpions nowadays as we used to before we got the chickens. And do you know why? Did you know that chickens actually eat scorpions? Now, this one's already dead, so it's no big deal when the chicken eats it. It's not surprising. But I've actually seen chickens eat a scorpion while it was still alive. And what they did, which I thought was a very smart technique, is they first, the hen first bit off the tail where the stinger is, and then it ate the rest of the scorpion, like in one bite. So, since we have chickens around, they have definitely kept down the population of scorpions outside of the house, and therefore we have fewer of them inside the house. But, funny story, when I first purchased this property, the first night I came out here to sleep, because I still had my apartment at the time, and I was spending a few days here. Um, well, actually, I was spending a few days at the apartment and then one night here, and I do that off and on throughout the week. Um, there were so many scorpions in the house. Like, I think I saw three in one day that I was scared to sleep on my blow-up air mattress. And so I spent the night in my car. Yeah, that's how... Um, concerned I was about the scorpions in the house. So I did bug bombs. I set off the poison in the house. It didn't work much. I mean, it killed some of the scorpions, but we probably still had a nest and may still have a nest somewhere in the house, most likely in the attic. And yes, I did set off a bug bomb in the attic, but it just does not work long term around here because we're such a heavily wooded area that they just live out in the environment. So all I'm doing whenever I set off bug bombs is, you know, potentially poisoning any food that I didn't cover appropriately or poisoning us as we get some of the fumes that may linger even after airing out the house as per the directions on the, um, the bug bomb. So we really like that the chickens help out by keeping the scorpion load lower, but we still get the occasional scorpion that we find in the house and so far Justin has been stung twice since he's lived out here. I don't want to jinx this but Justin so far is the only one that's been stung. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm still trying to get over this gunk. So anyway, I wanted to actually show y'all um, the chicken eating the scorpion so that y'all knew that I wasn't just like making it up. But of course the chicken I was going to feed it to decided to walk off because she said I talked too long, gabbing too much, and she had better things to do. Okay, I think I found a chicken and a rooster and let's see what they do. I'm trying to make sure I get this in the camera. Chicka, 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 chicka. Nala, are you making them go away? Okay, maybe this will be the better way. Let's go over to the walkway, set the scorpion down, and let the chicken come to it. Chicka, 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 boos. Not kitty boos, chicky boos. There's a scorpion. Come on, chicky. All right. There. <laughs> the rooster says, all these cats make me a little nervous. Okay, of course when I try to show you, the chickens aren't going to... Alright, since the chickens in the front didn't cooperate, we're going to try the chickens here in the back. Let's make sure that you can see my hand. There's the scorpion, and I'm going to drop it. And it's gone. So, it's a good thing to have chickens if you're concerned about scorpions. Again, they won't get rid of them completely. But it's just a really cool factoid that I didn't know about until we moved out here. So, hope y'all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And if you check back with us tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to have a video up about what Justin did about this thing to help get him through so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Talk to y'all later and God bless.